Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you guys my nail polish collection. I've had a few requests here and there over the last couple of months to show this, especially now that I'm back in the Netherlands and I've got my full collection back together. Um, I thought let's actually make some time and do this now because I've been promising a few people here and there that it would be coming soon and then stuff pops up and I didn't really get to it yet but we're doing it now I'm thinking to do I didn't film the close-up shots yet I'm gonna do that right after this I'm thinking to first show you guys um, the polishes that I brought with me to Dublin like the last bit of collection that I still had left there just because that's something I've been asked about as well, like how did I decide which polishes to take, what polishes did I take, um, and then I will show you kind of how I'm organizing or like just storing my nail polishes at the moment and what polishes I have, which is still definitely a good amount. So yeah, let's jump right into it because I have no idea how long it's going to take me to get through all of them. Okay, starting off with my uh, Dublin collection in a way. Um, I've been asked how I decided which ones I took with me and I think like every time I felt like my collection was running low a little bit, I would just pick a few eyeshadows to decide which ones I felt like working on at that time. And normally if it was winter time, I would be more likely to bring some darker shades with me. If it was springtime, they would be a bit lighter. Some of them I've had there for a good while and I haven't really gotten to them very much yet. As you can maybe already spot from here though, I do have a brand that my preference goes to. But then for like my project polish at the same time, I don't always want to have in big bottles. And a lot of these are big bottles, so I try to bring in some smaller ones every now and then as well. But let's go through these because I've been talking for about a minute already. This one is the Catrice Topper um, from a limited edition. What is this one called again? Heaven Eyes Day. And that was my possible next topper after I finished off the topper that I have in my project polish right now. Then we have, just to go with that, another Catrice polish. It has been lying on their side for a little bit. So some of them will look a little bit separated. Another Catrice shade that I brought over kind of around springtime, as you can see, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Kind of a like green yellowish like really pastel -y type shade then let's see we've got one already polish in here still left i think oh no this one oh no <laughs> that's what happens sometimes as well this is not very common this one seems very close as well i don't know what happened there anyway this early shade i love these early shades because they're like multi-chrome duochrome as you can maybe see there is like a blue in here but also a bit of like purple and maybe even some other shifts that you can pick up on this one is called early lunar eclipse it's from a limited edition where i i think i bought about three or four of the polishes from that limited edition and uh, i already used up a few of those actually then we've got a zoya polish here so yeah also a really nice brand this is also a bit of a like a duo chromy polish as you can see i do like my glitters very much as well my shimmers glitters and this one is called mimi very nice purple polish definitely some darker shades in here i think no wait let me do this one first opi this is a polish that i got from a friend um over in dublin this is opi Lavender. Oh, Lavender to find courage. There's some, <laughs> they're a bit tricky sometimes as OP polishes. So this one is about a year old or something. A lighter shade as well. Um, yeah, that's that one. So then the China Glaze polishes that I took with me. Another nice, like shimmery, glittery one from China Glaze. This one is called Midnight Mission. And well, this is actually very similar, but that one is a dark blue and this one is a dark purple. This is called First Class Ticket and it's just a nice like purpley shade as you can see. Then 
this type of shade is definitely one of the shades that I do like best. This is uh, for Audrey from China Glaze. I think that is kind of a cult classic as well. It's a very well known uh, shade from them. Haven't used this enough yet though. And then the one that started leaking, so I need to see if this is actually still okay. I picked up some of the boxes. <laughs> this is a Fly and High, a really nice like summery blue shade. Then another like green bluey shade right here. Again, China Glaze, of course. <laughs> and this one is called Four Leaf Clover. So it's like a greenish blue. And then these two I think are both from like a very vibrant summer collection, almost neon like Pink Plumeria, which has been in the project polish for a little bit as you can see. Uh, but I think I rolled it out at a certain point again because it just didn't really fit with the winter time or something like that. And then lastly, I brought this one with me, which again, a very bright pink. And this one is called Hang Ten Toes. Um, yeah. So these are the shades that I ended up taking with me. And I think that that is like some of them wintry shades, as you can see, like slightly more on this side, I've got my winter shades, some greens, like darker shades here as well. And then like the summer and springy shades in there as well. So it really depended on my mood at the time, what I brought with me. Now let's move on to everything else as well. Then I've got this box right here and that is more of my like miscellaneous polishes, one that I only have one or two of a brand. And a lot of, as you can see, like I've got nail stickers. I've got those Kona things that were very in for a little while where you could stamp certain things on your nails. Um, haven't used those in forever. I don't know if I'm going to be using them anytime soon, but they're cute. So I'm keeping them for now. Um, and then some like nail files and other things. Not using a lot of that like additional stuff. Most of the time I got those at like in a goodie bag somewhere. Some of the Kona plates I did buy myself though, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna take them out and then show you guys in a little bit more of a less from the top position. So these are the polishes from that box. A very miscellaneous bunch. Um, first of all, all of these are Kona nail polishes, which were like specifically designed to help and, and be very well for the stamping. I've got the Dutch flag right here as well. Uh, a lot of blues. I think this is actually like a bloody red. We've got a yellow. Like I just ended up like buying some sets and things and I didn't really specifically pick these colors, but uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what I ended up with for my stamping stuff. We've got two H&M polishes here and then this, it's kind of like a going back in time type of thing. Crackling nail polish. I really love the idea of those crackling nail polishes, so I did acquire a few of them. I think I may have finished up one of those types of polishes, but uh, yeah, they're just really fun. Like, remember how like you put them on your nails and then they would slowly like crack apart and create a pattern like that? Um, yeah, I'm actually not that I'm seeing because I really want to use these again sometime soon. Uh, we've got some glitter polishes. This one is from Essence and this one is from Atos, which is a Dutch drugstore. And then this is like those those flaky, like skill effects, um, nail polishes. I think you can let's see if I can zoom you guys in a little bit. You can see that effect a little bit of like the little flakes that would end up on your fingers. And uh, I love this one. Also used up kind of an orangey like more warm toned version of this one already. I think even in one of my project polishes. Then another cold classic at a certain point, Ico. They had like these like balm things that you could use on your cheeks and on your lips. And they did some really cute, especially the packaging, it's just really cute nail polishes as well. Uh, some pastels that I have here. This is a random brand. I have no idea what that even is that I got with a Hitcon subscription. For the Dutch people uh, listening in here, I've had it for a long time. <laughs> then this one is Collection. I think I picked that up in Dublin one of the first times that I was in Dublin. Airflow Lotus Effect was in a goodie box at some point. And this one is Kiko, which I did buy myself. Then as you can see, I'm very much into the blues and greens as well. 
we've got this is a P2 nail polish, uh, same brand as these two crackling nail polishes here. One Sinful Colors, Topshop, Maybelline. This is a shade that I bought because I finished off a complete uh, polish of a similar shade. And that was when I had like 50 to 100 nail polishes already and I was not panning at all yet. So the fact that I used that up meant that I really loved the color at the time. Um, then we've got Kinetics nail polishes. This one is from like a like a more younger Maybelline brand that was around in the Netherlands for a bit. I don't think it even exists anymore. Ciate, Nils Inc. This is also a brand that I don't even know. Seduction Bar Sucks. No idea. And then uh, Revlon polish on the side right here. Yeah, I think this kind of shows you my main color story is either like the curly shades, like the warmer colory shades, not so much red specific, but like the oranges and the corals, and then the blue greens and sometimes a bit of a purple here or there. It's fun to look at and it, it brings back memories, like putting these all out here and looking at them like this. Anyway, let's move on to the polishes that I have a bit more of uh, per brand. And then I have one more box here, like it's a fairly big box. I mean, this is my, my hand for size. I don't know if this works at all. Um, with more of the polishes that I had multiple of um, and that I used a bit more often in a certain way. I definitely have a bit of space left here now, considering I pulled a few of things out to bring with me to Dublin. So I might be able to even fit most of the polishes in here, I'm realizing now, but let's take them out. I'm gonna try and see if I can do brand by brand and uh, see what's in here. Here we have my early polishes. I think those stood out the most in that book. So I thought I'd just pull them out first. The four of these are all matte polishes. Again, going back in time, this was a trend at a certain point, like there were multiple brands doing the matte polishes. Slightly annoying because you could not put a regular top coat on top of them because of course you'd lose the matte a finish of them so they had to dry and you had to wait a fair bit <laughs> for them to dry. But we've got a purple, like a blue greeny shade, a kind of like a red orangey shade and a proper orange. Uh, these names, what were they even? Purple platter. We had Viridian Vinyl, Vinyl, I think they played with the textures a bit, Retro Red, and this orangey shade was called Old School Orange. Uh, yeah, really fun idea, not that practical in execution, but uh, yeah, brings back memories, guys. Then I've got this really bright orange one here, Melt Your Popsicle, very likely a summer collection at some point. This is Pixie Stick, a nice like muted pink. This has a bit of like a sheen to it. This is uh, Happy Ever After, like a reddish purple with a like purple pinkish like shimmer throughout it. Then we've got a dark blue, which as you guys have realized, I'm very much into blues as well. La Playa and a dark green, because blues and greens are definitely my thing. Enchanted Forest. And then we have this gray one, which is Mirror Mirror. I think those two definitely were from the same like kind of fairy tale type collection. Yeah, I haven't used a lot of early recently, so I might have to throw one into a project polish at some point soon. Let's move on to the next one. Here we have the remaining part of my China Glaze collection. You already saw most of them in like the polish that I took to Dublin with me. Definitely one of my favorite brands. A lot of really nice collections uh, they've done over the years. We've got two like normal-ish <laughs> ones. Uh, a green one with a bit of a like green sheen to it as well. This one is called Passion in the Pacific. And then we've got a purple one that seems to be a cream. This is Grape Pop. And then as you can see, these three have a slightly different cap and that's because these, I forgot what that effect was called, but um, when you have these on and you hold them in the sunshine mainly, I don't know if you can even pick up on that on, on the other polish. 
I can slightly see it from here, but they got like that rainbow color effect on them depending on how the light hits them. So it's not a multi-chrome, but uh, I forgot the name. Tell me what I mean. <laughs> um, so this is TTYL. I remember these all had abbreviations as uh, names, LOL. And this is Two Nights. Again, greens, purples, and like orangey curly tones. That's what you see throughout my whole collection, probably. Okay, next one. Oops, I missed one. Another one from that rainbow collection. This is China Glaze uh, TMI. Another orangey, reddish shade, as you can see. Then we have Color Club, which is a nail polish brand that I don't even really remember. I think I think I got some of these in kind of a goodie bag where you paid less and they would send you some random shades, kind of. And at a certain point, I decided I really needed to have a white and a black nail polish in my collection because I don't know why that made sense to me at the time, but that's what I decided. So we've got like a few Color Club shades here. Again, blues, greens, and orangey use, as you can see. This one is cold metal, which as you can see has a bit of a silvery sheen throughout that blue. Then we have gossip column. Like a tealy shade is that one. This one is called Rebel Debutant. A green, as you can see. This is a very nice fall type shade, isn't it? Like also multi-chrome, or at least duochrome. Kind of reminds me of the changing leaves. Wild and willing. Okay. And an orange, very similar to the shade that I'm wearing right here already. Mrs. Robinson. It makes me think of that song. Then we've got the little white one, Ghost of Chance silvery shade right here which is called smoke and mirrors and this one is master of disguise guessing these all came from a similar like halloween type collection but yeah cute not too big maybe something i should throw into a project polish at some point but this shade ooh. okay i'm starting to get some inspiration for a project polish for next year already more purples, blues, and orange hues. This is what's left of my Catrice collection. I had a lot of Catrice polishes because it was like a cheaper brand when I started to get more into makeup and nail polish. I bought a lot of them, but I've used up a fair bit throughout the years as well. Let's take a quick look at them here. This is a black polish, but as you can see there, it, like, it has like mainly purple, but even some greenish glitters through it as well. Um, so we stick with that uh, purple theme, I guess. Really hard to read the name on this one, though. It is called I Wear My Sunglasses. Then we've got the purpley, glittery shade right here. This one is called Forget Me Not. Like a nice poopy brown <laughs> shade. This one is called Lost in Mud. Very fitting. This is a gray one from a limited edition. As you can see, the cap is slightly different. And this one is called Looking Great. And just a nice like sky blue shade, which is called Blue Cara Blue Chow. I'm wondering whether that's a word play on Curacao, but then this is like a blue with a bit of a purple tinge to it, I guess. Pool party at night. Another limited edition one. This one is called Bring Me Terra Copper. So yeah, that's all I have left, including that uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy shade that I showed you guys earlier. And I used to have so much more. A few shades from Zoya. I think I have one in my Dublin collection that I showed you guys already as well. Uh, three glittery ones. Um, these are all have like female names most of the time. Ivanka, which is a like it almost seems to have a blue base with just a lot of like greenish glitter through it. So somewhere in between. This is a really lovely like green shade as well. 
some golden shimmer Yara and then this is like a pinky pinkish reddish base with golden glitters through it which is called Riva and then some like spring summery shades here as well Jolene pink and the orange shade here is called Jensen a really nice brand as well so yeah although they need a bit more layers oftentimes because the formula seems to be a bit thinner but that's not too big of a deal the shades are really nice so of the eye polishes here um, I already had the one that I received from a friend in my Dublin collection but we've got some more blues and greens and I guess this leans quite yellow this one is OPI over the top blue from the Shrek collection I remember now this is what's with the catitude also a Shrek reference this is a very Shrek green shade so pretty sure it's from the same collection who the Shrek are you and then the last one is called fiercely Fiona so yeah all of these are from the Shrek collection actually um, very nicely like fitting together as well as you can see really nice brand just really big bottles and that scares me away from using them uh, a little bit especially of course pulling them into my project polish and then I ended up buying a few polishes from American Apparel as well don't even remember where I got these but um, they're all kind of like nicely muted colors in a way but again greens purples oranges this one is called Malibu green we have got L'Esprit this one is Dynasty and this one is Rose Bowl. I really like this shade as well actually just a muted orangey rosy shade really nice here we've got three Essie shades and of course I'm also working on Lilacism in my project polish greens and blues is that a surprise at this point this is pretty edgy this one I love this type of green as well especially now that we're in fall like really good Sue psyched and then this blue one is called Cote Azure which I think I had in a mini at some point as well actually but yeah my Essie polishes and we've got Rimmel right here I think this was a brand that I started to buy when I was getting into makeup a little bit more they had that like bigger brush that was kind of new at the time and that's when I didn't fully discover internet and online shopping yet so these are like definitely older and it's nice to see that I have actually used all of these enough to like see that they've been used and this one is called Jaded Glamour the names are on the front for these ones Orange Bliss and Riviera Red which is the first actual red cream and the only actual red cream I think in my collection um, as much as I like the oranges, the reds are just less my thing for some reason. But you need to have at least one proper red shade in your collection, right? Then this brand was fairly easily available at a certain point as well. I think we could buy it at Ethos, as I mentioned before, a Dutch drugstore. It's Herom, but it is like WIC by Herom, so it's kind of their more accessible line, I guess. I bought three shades from that line. I've got this one, which is Kuala Lumpur. We've got this one, which is an orange with a slightly pinkish shimmer through it, if you can maybe spot that. Uh, this one is called Sagora. Yeah, these were all called after like countries or cities or something, I think. And we've got a golden shade called Melbourne. As you can see, we're going down more and more. Uh, two shades left of my Berry M Nail polishes. Also of those I had a lot, but those have been in my Project Polish a fair bit as well, working on one of them there too. We've got this one, Berry M Yellow, and Berry M Cobalt Blue. Very describing names. They're just really nice creamy shades. This is a, the Berry M, like the orange coral shade that I'm working on right now as well. Very nice, they work nicely, they stay nice consistency wise throughout using them. Yeah, I really like them. But as you guys probably have seen, I don't need to buy any more nail polishes anytime soon. 
And then even though I just did a project polish update, just a quick reminder, these are the shades that I do have as well, which are in my project polish at the moment. We've got China Glaze Secret Periwinkle, um, a periwinkle shade. You know, guys, <laughs> I love my blues. We've got Varium Coral, which is nice for the fall time right now. And then we've got Essie Lilacism. Just another cold classic as well, I guess. So yeah, those were all my polishes. Still have a good few years of project polish to do to get through all of these, as you can see. But uh, they make me happy. And like looking at them all together again, now that I have them together and seeing those like specific collections and things that like I really, really was very into when I bought them. And I still kind of really like all of them as well. Yeah, it's nice. I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. Anyway, that was it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye bye!